Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Drafting Tutorials. My name is Casey Kepley. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to input a revision history block. I was searching for information on this. I couldn't find anything in the, uh, the college book that I bought um, that was requested of us through college to, to purchase. I couldn't find anything in the book on revision history blocks. None whatsoever. And there was very little information on the internet about it as well. Maybe that's because it's really easy to find. I, I don't really know. Uh, but I figured I'd shoot a video on it because, you know, I'm new to this uh, program. I'm learning it right now. I'm taking drafting courses. Um, I'm in Inventor uh, 2018 Advanced. And uh, so I figured I'd just shoot a video on it for my own benefit and yours as well. So getting started here, what I did is I took a title block. I uh, imported it from... Uh, AutoCAD, and uh, it's got information in here for a project that I'm working on. Uh, if you're not familiar with how to import into CAD, it's pretty easy. Uh, all you gotta do, just uh, go to File, Open, go down here to Import CAD File, select your file, and then you bring it in. But we're not gonna shoot a video on that. Um, that's pretty basic information. If you're looking to change the uh, title block size, so if you right now I'm on a B-sized sheet of paper, if I wanted to change that and uh, go to like a uh, different size sheet, I can go over here to, to sheet number one. Sheet formats are right here, but that's not really what you're looking for. Uh, it just shows you some different sizes and, and portraits and all that stuff. I'll cover that in a later video. Um, but if you just want to change the, sh the size of sheet of paper, you're going to right click on sheet one and this will be for your new title block edit sheet and then from size you can change the size to a C paper you know D whatever A we'll keep it at B right now but you can change where the position of your information is on your title block as well so I can go to the left upper left upper right corner um, I can change it to a portrait um, etc. So we'll just keep it at B size right now. And for finding to input your revision history block, uh, you simply select the annotate tab here. You're going to go over here to revision, uh, hit the drop down, and select the table. Now the tag uh, gives you like basically a way to label different things for say like either a parts list maybe uh, if you're making changes on a parts list that sort of thing we're not doing that so we're just going to enter a uh, revision table at the moment and we could do entire drawing or just the active sheet okay so if you got multiple sheets going and you just want to make an update to like a revision on say the assembly right uh, you could just do an active sheet if you pulled up your your assembly drawing we're gonna do the entire drawing so this would make changes to multiple sheets all at once um, we'll just hit OK and it will bring in a revision table okay now from here you can right click on it select edit this will bring up the uh, the editing on it so zone I'm, I'm not too familiar with the uh, editing of these revision blocks yet I might have to get better at that but uh, let's see here if I can find sort call chooser yeah I'll have to shoot another video on actually editing this um, <clears throat> but that's how you import a revision if you want to get rid of the revision, you can just right click on it, um, hit delete. Now I've already got one in here at the moment. I'll get rid of that. And so if I wanted to go in here and, and edit some of this text and whatnot, either down low or up high in the revision history block or in the, in the title block itself, um, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is select on ANSI large under your sheet right here, edit definition and it'll take you to editing 
the uh, dimensions of your revision block. Okay. Um, once you get those dimensioned right, you see you can change the dimension here. I'm not going to change it because right now I've got a title block going for a project that I'm doing. So I'm simply just showing you guys how you can edit um, the uh, revision history block. Okay, so you just hit finish sketch. Say yes. And uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Um, I'll shoot another video showing you more on editing and, and the tools that you can use for editing your uh, revisions here. Um, other than that, if you like what you're seeing, hit the like button. You can subscribe to the channel. And uh, I will catch you guys later.